Yeah, right. So you you were explaining how you uh, were setting it up to have the feedback system and yes. uh, learning, yes. uh, adaptive learning, so that it could yes. make its own sounds and then listen to that, and yes. then we got cut off. So right, right, right. So the robot has a you know, the a kind of associative memory hmm. to 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 associate articulatory motion hmm. from the vocal sounds. Mm-hmm. Currently, right now, okay. so the robot is able to listen to someone other's voice, mm-hmm. and then it mimics the voice by the articulatory motion. Okay. Then it produces the you know, mimic sound mm-hmm. with a, with another you know, human. Oh, okay. This is a mechanical system. Okay. So this so, is the current one. So it can associate the mm-hmm. commands that it sends to the vocal tract, and yes. then the sounds that come out. Yes. And get that feedback loop. Yes. And then it can compare that or interact with uh, another external source, like a, yes. a human being or, or yes. some other sound. That's right. Uh, yeah. And then map that and then mm-hmm. adjust what it does to communicate. Is that yes. the intention? Oh. Uh, yes. It, yeah. It, well, the, no. The, well, the robot does not understand mm. the words. Sure. Sure. It understands only the you know the auditory uh, auditory uh, characteristics. Mm. So in, in this sense, the the robot knows how the the sound has uh, how the uh, you know mm. what kind of sound characteristics the human gives to the to the to the robot, uh-huh. okay. and then the robot generates that that sound by the by controlling its vocal organs. Okay. okay. Yes. Sure. Sure. So it is something like a you know. Uh, uh, well, how do I know? Uh, it does not have any intelligence like human mm. to 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 understand mm. words, mm. but to understand only you know sounds and sure. its articulatory motion. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, it's a basic uh, subsystem. You know, mm, yes. So if you optimize that and tune that, then yes. later it can be connected to other. Yes. Systems that yes. can make the association between yes. words, sounds, and yes. objects or concepts or whatever. Yes, but, uh, that's yeah. right. This is what I'm working in another project. Mm. So that the robot is able to re- respond to to a human mm. with a you know verbal verbal communication. Mm. So in, in another project, I'm constructing uh, something like uh, to to understand human words mm. to respond to human. Like okay. a hello and a hello and a <laughs> how are you and fine or something like this. Just a simple sure. communication sure. with with the robot's uh, expression, you know, mm. vocal expressions mm. by giving some intonations and mm. uh, you know, speaking speed and some others mm. to give some expressions that human can understand. Mm-hmm. 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 It's a very reasonable and logical uh, mm. technical approach to yeah. the problem to analyze it and uh, chunk it down to yes. uh, individual modules and yes. uh, try to optimize that and then build them back up again to a larger yes. system. Yeah, that's but right. I wanted to ask you, how does that compare to actual human learning? Like you made the example of the child learning. Do uh, of course, the human body has mm-hmm. lots of subsystems. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. We have many different layers in our brain that have yes. evolved over time and sensory yes. reactions. Like yeah, that's right. if right. we touch something hot, our, <laughs> yes. our hand mm-hmm. reacts automatically without the signals going all the way to our brain and back. Yes. Yes. But yes. How does your approach map to like the way that uh, children learn? Yes, yeah, it's a good question. Yeah, right. The, well, currently, yes, I, I, I'm... Well, I'm trying to to understand you know baby activity. Mm. So for for this purpose, I'm mm. just uh, letting the robot to learn its vocalization skill mm. mm-hmm. by itself, huh. so that we can compare mm. the you know obtained voice mm-hmm. of a robot with, uh, 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 with a comparison with with baby. Mm-hmm. So uh, with this robotic research, and I let just let the robot to 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 learn it, sure. so that we can we, we will see right. how the robot uh, generate some particular uh, sound characteristics, mm-hmm. some, and something like that. It, uh, sure. We are just you know the observing 
the right. robot activity and the learning right. skill right. so right. that we can compete. <laughs> right. This right. is yeah, just on in the stage in this stage. Okay. How long yeah. have you been working on this particular project? How long did it take to bring it to this stage? Uh, well, well, so far I've been working with this project maybe let's see three four years, mm -hmm. and uh, well, we have quite a lot to 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 go sure, from now course, on. So course. maybe quite far future. Oh yeah, <laughs> future, yeah, yeah. Future, yeah. Oh, I, I think it's kind of a not a never-ending story, but uh, yeah, that's more, right. You know, my observation mm -hmm. uh, is that the more you mm -hmm. know, the more mm -hmm. you explore, the more questions that that raises. It's yeah, like the right. Hydra. So, that's okay, right. <laughs> I can, I can, I learned this, mm -hmm. and now I need to change this, uh, and then I can go so much further. Is, yes. is that what you've been experiencing, or? Yes, yes, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. In in that kind of process, mm -hmm. what often happens is that uh, you start and you mm -hmm. make some first approximation. Yes. But yes. then sometimes you realize you have to go back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has, has that sure. happened in in this research? Yes, of course, uh, quite a lot. <laughs> yes. Because, you know, uh, you know, for in the you know, human vocal system, mm -hmm. well, for example, when we get a sore throat, right. like we have a pain in the, in the throat, mm -hmm. our voice changes quite greatly. That's right, that's right. So, you know, our, you know, the human voice quality hmm. is quite uh, dependent on its, you know, no, hum, human, uh, our, you know, hmm. vocal organs, like uh, not only the, just the motion, but also right. our mu the situation of the muco mucous membrane that's right, or that's right. viscosity of the, you know, in a mouth or some other. Right, so the, the, of the soft palate yeah, and so the, on. Yeah, that's so. right. Quite complex. So, so. We, when I change something, some, some part of the robot, mm -hmm. the, the voice changes quite, di mm -hmm. quite differently, mm -hmm. uh, something like that. So we have to go and come back and go and back and quite a lot so sure. far. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, this is a kind of a, you know, research, typical research to, yeah. to, to try to get some achievement. Sure. You know, it is not just go straight, but no, uh, to, no. to, to, to go back, yeah. as, you, as you told me. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I noticed that you have the, the nasal cavity. Yes, yes. That, that's totally passive. Uh, it's just a resonant cavity, or? Uh, we have. Uh, it has the resonance cavity. In fact, we uh, uh, made that nasal cavity with the same volume in, in the na natal cavity uh, of a human, uh, yeah. we studied it in a, in a MRL image uh, of an actual human right. to estimate the, the, the volume of the cavity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we made it uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, to, to make it in a uh, almost same mm -hmm. cavity mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. Yes, we made that uh, nasal cavity with a plaster oh, okay. by, by ourselves. Yes, okay. it is a quite hard one. Uh, so that it could uh, have a, a close uh, resonance characteristics with a human born. Mm, so mm. we use a plaster to make it. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. So if it's plaster, then it is totally passive. It, it doesn't move or have any flexibility. Uh, no, no. Uh, in, in this mean, in, yes, it's a passive. passive. Okay. Uh, but uh, we have a, a no, the, what? The, the, what? The opening valve. Mm. Uh, in the connection between the nasal cavity and the mouth, ma uh, the uh, uh, vocal tract, okay. uh, uh -huh. set the uh, uh, valve so that we can actively close and open. Okay, so you can change the resonance characteristics yes. Of, yes. Uh, in the same way that uh, maybe the uh, top of the what is it, soft palate? I think. Yes, soft palate. Yes, up right. and down. Yeah. That's the nice. resonance uh, motor controls uh, mm -hmm. going up and down. Those model fairly closely the actual characteristics of the uh... well, well what, what, what do you mean by by app, uh, you know the model of uh, which which part uh, on your diagram at least the english version you have a resonant uh, resonance control motors yes uh, 1 through 8 so they're all on the the bottom changing the two yes. characteristics yes. Mm -hmm. okay so yes. how how does that actually simulate what's going on in in the mouth? Is it simulating the the change of the shape of our mouths? The, yes, the inside tongue, the mouth. The tongue movement. Or? Yes, right, right. Basically, tongue movement. Mm. Yes, inside the mouth. Mm, mm, mm. So we we put 
uh, six motors, uh, mm. the se eight motors mm. uh, at, at the bottom of the vocal mm. tract, mm. so that uh, to uh, so that it pro uh, reproduces the uh, thumb motion mm. Mm. by by pulling and the push uh, pushing and the pulling sure. uh, at the bottom at the at the bottom mm. part mm. Mm. of the tract. Mm. 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 So and after the learning, we we uh, we know that the shape in our mouth mm. is quite close to human uh, vocal tract tra right. shape. Right. right. Uh, with a comparison with the uh, MR image, uh, okay. we learn it. Okay. 